Today let's read How to Ride a Polar Bear. From Simon and Shuster books. At school, we are learning about maps. We all had to bring one home to colour in. I'm still trying to open mine when Albie! It's Mum. How about a trip to the museum? She says. Do we have to? I groan. Museums are fusty and dusty and s full of smelly old things. But Mum just smiles. We'll see, she says. We catch the bus and trundle into town. At the museum, there's an Arctic exhibition. Awesome! I try on some furry clothes and have just started building an igloo when a snowflake lands on my nose. Huh? More snow falls, thicker and faster. Suddenly, a huge polar bear leaps out of the snow. Yikes! Can you help us? High up on the bear's back is a girl. We've got to cross the frozen sea to get home, but the ice is melting. Come quick, she cries. But, but, but I don't know the way, I stutter. We can use your map, says the girl. I'm Yura, and this is Tuka, she grins. We cling to the bear's thick fur and plunge into the blizzard. We race through glittering forests, past frozen mountains and through deep snowdrifts. The sky turns from blue to dusky pink. Soon it will be dark. We must rest now, says Yura. But where will we sleep? I say. Yura laughs. In an igloo, of course. She shows me how to cut blocks of snow and we build the igloo together. Then she lights a fire and makes a delicious stew. Yum! We snuggle into warm blankets and soon we are asleep. But in the middle of the night a deafening rumble fills the air. Avalanche! We dive out of the igloo and Tuka carries us away, dodging giant snowballs as they crash through the trees. At last we are safe, but as Tuka pads across the ice, eerie howling fills the valley. Dark shadows slink across the ice towards us. Ow! Wolves! cries Yura. Tuka growls, Wah! but the wolves so circle closer and closer until Something whooshes through the air, scattering the wolves in every direction. What was that? I gasp. A good friend, laughs Yura. I think it might be Father Christmas swooshing down on his sleigh and scattering the wolves away. We gather our things and climb back onto Tuka. I check the map. It's not far now, I say. But when we reach the sea, we are too late. The ice melts earlier every year, cries Yura. 
Now we'll never get home. Just then a fountain of water shoots into the air. Splash! Yura grins, then puts her hand to her mouth and whistles. Hooray! When we reach the shore, Yura's family are waiting for us. And there's my mum. So, she grins, how was the museum? It was awesome! I say, and not a fusty, dusty or smelly old thing in sight. Uh-oh. Well, we hope you enjoyed that story. Please check out some of our other stories, as there's lots to choose from on this channel. Please do give a thumbs up, and please do subscribe. Thanks for watching.